Hey, hi guys, this is Bakapa Chincholikar. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to execute Quickimer scenarios in parallel with Selenium framework. So, let us jump to the Eclipse ID. We will discuss how to implement this particular concept with the framework. So, here what I will do is just I will open the YouTube channel validation.future file. So, this particular future file we have created when we are discussing about page object model with Quickimer framework so what i will do is so here just i have tried before uh, giving this session so just i have renamed this particular future file with the tag name as parallel testing with cucumber so that's it so just let me explain you what exactly this particular scenario is doing here in the first step we are just opening the browser and we are entering the youtube.com then in the second step, we are searching for the Selenium tutorial that is Selenium by Bakapayan. In the third step, we are clicking on the channel name. In the fourth step, we are validating the title of that particular tab. So that's the validation we have done by using the assertions. If you have not visited in the previous tutorials, please go and visit those tutorials to get more insight of this tutorial. So let us discuss how to implement parallel execution in Cucumber Selenium framework. So what I will do is simply I will go to the test runner file here. Just maximize this. I'll go to the test date annotation data provider. So he, here I will pass the single parameter called parallel is equal to true <clears throat> sorry guys so here i'm passing parallel is equal to true so that's it so this is a small change you need to do in the test runner class so that's it so when you come down here we have a testng.xml file in this file what you need to do is for this particular suit, you need to pass the another parameter here. So, what is that property? Is data provider thread count? Sorry, thread count. So, if you look at here, so this is a property you need to pass the value like how many scenarios you wanted to execute at a time. So, if I select this particular property, so by default it will execute the 10 scenarios at a time. So you can specify it, you can customize it. So in my case, I wanted to execute two scenarios at a time. So let us go to the our feature file. So as we have only two total two scenarios in this particular feature file, what I will do, do in this particular feature file is just I will copy the same scenarios. I will paste it one more time. So now we have total four scenarios so at a time first in the first execution it will launch the browser two browsers and it will execute this but first two scenarios in the next time in the next iteration it will execute the next two scenarios so let us take this particular tag name and go to the test runner file here so i'll specify this particular tag name here so that's it so now our suit suit is ready to run so let me execute the testng.xml file here so if i execute testng suit so if you observe here it is launching the two browsers at a time so we have passed in the testng.xml file as the Two as a count for the data provided thread count. So it depends on the value what you have specified in that particular property. So now it is running the first iteration. So first two scenarios got executed. If you look at here, it is executing the next two scenarios. That is scenario third and the scenario fourth is getting executed now.
so that's it so we will add another set of scenarios and we will try to execute it one more time so if i maximize this particular console if you look at here total test run is four and there are zero failures and the zero skips so let us add a few more scenarios in this particular feature file so now we have four scenarios let me copy all the four scenarios and it will become now eight scenarios so that's it let me copy another two scenarios so total it will become 10 scenarios so now we have total 10 scenarios in this particular future file so i will go to the testng.xml file so i will go to this particular testng.xml file so here i will maximize this here i will mention this data provided th sorry data provider thread count as a file so that it can run at a time five scenarios or five test cases so that it will complete in a two iteration so if you are executing one by one scenarios by scenarios it will take a lot of time so you can reduce that time so if i execute this particular testng.xml file so it should be able to launch five browsers at a time so here i'm executing testng.xml file as a testng suit so if you observe here so we have launched five browsers at a time first one second one third one fourth one and fifth one so five scenarios are getting executed at a time so you can try at your end you can you can write multiple scenarios in the same file and you can try to execute in my case just i have copied already existing scenario only multiple times so one two scenarios got executed third got executed and fourth one is getting executed over here so now if you look at here now total browsers visible is total five so first iteration is completed the second iteration is in execution is in progress now if you look at here another five browsers got opened so let's wait for the execution to be completed then we will see the result so total test run should be 10 because we have mentioned the test 10 scenarios in that particular future file hey hi everyone this is Bak so last scenario is getting executed now so that's it so if i maximize this so we got some error session id is null or something after calling calling to the quit method maybe some delays required in that case so if you look at this particular statement here total test run is 10 but there are only one failure and there are zero skips maybe that looks some driver is driver session is null or something so that's all i have in this session if you have any questions please comment in the comment section so we have got this particular error because we are directly we are quitting the browser so instead of quitting the browser you need to close the browser so once execution is completed if you are using some test engine listener and all after finishing the execution you can call to the driver.quit method in the listeners so this is a very simple issue you can resolve at your end and let me know if you are facing the same issue i will help you in resolving that issue so that's all i have in this session how to execute cookie scenarios in parallel with selenium framework if you like this particular video please click on 
like and share button if you want to get more updates from this particular channel click on subscribe button thank you very much for watching this tutorial on how to execute cucumber scenarios in parallel with selenium framework